World records are meant to be broken, but some of them are easier to break than others. These are the top 10 easiest to beat world records. But before I start ranking world records, we need to decide which world records to include. Because there are an endless amount of world records, since there are so many thousands of tricks and patterns that have been done and therefore have its own official or unofficial world record. But including world records as most catches with juggling three cats wouldn't make a lot of sense. So I went by that I'm only going to rank the basic patterns of balls, clubs and rings. So most catches of 3 to 14 balls, 3 to 9 clubs and 3 to 13 rings, giving me a total of 30 different world records to choose from. And I'm only going to include the official world records even though there might have been someone doing it for longer off camera. I also have to mention that even if a world record was done a certain way, as in single rotations with clubs or an asynchronous non-crossing pattern with vaults, I'll allow breaking the club record by doing double rotations or breaking the ball world record by doing sync crossing or non-crossing patterns. Keep in mind that none of these records are easy to beat. They're all really good, but a lot of them haven't reached their potential yet. And here is number 10. At number 10 we find the oldest current world record of them all. And that is 8 rings for 1 minute and 17 seconds by Anthony Garo from the United States. This record was set in front of a live audience and a representative of the Guinness Book of World Records in 1989 on his first attempt when Anthony was only 16 years old. This record isn't easy to beat in any way, but by looking at Gatto's 9 ring record, which stands at 50 seconds, we can see that he clearly didn't push the record to his limit while he was at his peak. Also, there are only 6 jugglers in the world that officially have done over 100 catches of 8 rings and 5 jugglers claiming it. While at 9 rings it's only one claim and no official video, even though the world records are only 27 seconds apart in duration. Number 9. 8 ball world record. At number 10 we had 8 rings. On number 9 it's 8 balls. This world record has gone back and forth between Bruce Serapian and Anthony Gatto, but Gatto eventually got the run that today stands as the world record of 1 minute and 13 seconds or 381 catches. If we again check how many jugglers that have surpassed 100 catches of 8 balls, we can see that there are 10 jugglers to officially have broken the barrier and 7 more claiming it, with the closest being Luca Fermengis with 241 catches of 8 balls. Even though jugglers are closer to beating this record than the 8 ring record, one must take into account that more jugglers are pushing the limits of 8 balls rather than 8 rings. But there's one more factor that's important to mention, and that's which pattern the record was set in. Anthony Gatto used an async non-crossing fountain pattern where he juggles 4 balls in each hand. This pattern is typically seen as more difficult than a sync crossing wimpy pattern. And since it isn't taken into consideration what pattern you use while breaking a world record as long as it's non-multiplex, one can use easier patterns than async fountain to break Gatto's record. This record is really hard to beat, but that's why this is at number 9. Number 8. 5 Club World Record the 5 club world record has been held by different world class jugglers. In 1984 it was held by Albert Lucas with a time of 21 minutes and 6 seconds. Then in 1989 Gatto broke it getting 45 minutes and 2 seconds. And 16 years later in 2005 Thomas Dietz from Germany did 53 minutes and 9 seconds which stands as the current world record. This is one of the oldest world records but it probably won't be for much longer. At the 17th of November 2017, Christopher Stoinev did a massive run of 47 minutes and 24 seconds, which as of today is the longest run you can find online. By looking at how close Stoinev got to beating the record and including that Thomas himself 
claims to have run the pattern for 1 hour and 25 minutes, we can see that this record is meant to be broken sometime soon. And that's why the 5 club world record is at number 8. Number 7. 6 ring world record. Up until 2016, there didn't exist a world record of 6 rings. Not that no one had published a 6 ring run before, but no one had published a significant enough run of 6 rings for it to be recognized as the official world record. But on August 9th, 2016, Willy Colombiani of Italy published a run of 6 minutes and 16 seconds. This is a really good run and he became the first juggler to ever break the 1000 catches barrier with 6 rings. But comparing this to 7 rings, which in itself is a lot harder to juggle, one would expect the 6 ring record to be longer. But that's not the case. In 2006, Anthony Gatto juggled 7 rings for a massive 15 minutes and 6 seconds, almost 3 times longer, in front of a live audience finishing the run with a clean finish after a 5 up 360. By this comparison, we can see that even though juggling over 6 minutes with 6 rings is impressive, this record still has a long way to go. Number 6. 4 ball world record. The current world record of 4 balls was set by Sidjenik Bradac from Czech Republic in 2010 with a time of 2 hours, 46 minutes and 48 seconds. And since then, no one had broken it. At least not officially. On April 5th, 2020, the juggler Lander Demony juggled 4 balls for 3 hours and 38 seconds, but got the record denied due to the balls being out of frame. So the record still stands at 2 hours 46 minutes, but as Lander demonstrated, this can be broken. If we look at the current 5 ball world record, held by Ufek Schneid at 2 hours 41 minutes and 26 seconds, we can see that Ufek almost surpassed the 4 ball world record using one extra ball. And taking the 5 ball world record and the unofficial 4 ball world record into account, we can see that the potential for a new world record is definitely there. Number 5. 4 club world record. Just as the 6 ring world record, the history of the 4 club world record is really short, but it has been broken a lot of times. The first juggler to set an official record was Felix Surbe in 2017 with a time of 31 minutes and 50 seconds. Later it was broken by Pablo Felt in 2018 with a time of 53 minutes and 50 seconds. And one year later, in 2019, Amaron Roosevelt did it for 58 minutes and 6 seconds. And then it took off. In less than a month, Kristan Urdal from Norway, David Piskoya from Peru, and Alexander Innocentsev from Russia improved the record one time each. Kristan with the time of 59 minutes and 48 seconds, then David with 1 hour 2 minutes and 52 seconds, and on the 13th of May, Alexander Innocentsev got 1 hour 15 minutes and 9 seconds, which of today is the world record. Comparing 4 clubs to 5 clubs, 4 clubs is not only way easier, but it's also less demanding in terms of physical endurance. And seeing how many jugglers in such a short time have broken this world record, I think we should expect it to be broken once again in a short time. Number 4. 4 ring world record. This record so far has only officially been attempted by Robert LaBeouf from the United States. He first got the time of 43 minutes and 12 seconds on January the 6th, 2020 and later doubled his record one year later on January 19th, 2021 with a time of 1 hour, 20 minutes and 26 seconds which stands as the record today. Amaron Rosval has claimed to juggle 4 rings for 10,000 catches or 48 minutes and 8 seconds back in 2008, but the attempt wasn't recorded. This record is really close to the 4 club world record in terms of duration, but in terms of physical demand for endurance, rings are quite a bit easier on the muscles than clubs. Rings are also considered as the easier pop to juggle if we compare it with clubs. And taking all of these facts into consideration, one can see why 4 rings is at number 4. 
Number three, three club world record. Even though juggling three clubs in itself is quite easy, doing anything for such a long duration is really difficult. The first publicly available world record of three clubs we have is from 2015 by Brian Koenig, which stood at two hours and six seconds. Later, it has been improved by Kevin Hauer and Amron Rosval before Robert LaBeouf on August 30th, 2019 did it for a massive 3 hours, 43 minutes and 13 seconds. This time is really good, but there is a lot more potential to this record. And here's why. Before LaBeouf got his official world record, three jugglers surpassed the 4 hour mark already in July 2019. Those jugglers being Jeremiah Johnston, Sidney MacDonald and Nick Thomas. Sadly, this run didn't become official due to the fact that not the whole run was shown on video. But at least these facts goes to show that even though 3 hours and 43 minutes is really impressive, this record has a lot more potential if someone decides to officially go for it. Number 2. 3 ring world record. This record has been improved on multiple occasions since 2016 when Kenshin Tomi first got an official world record of 1 hour, 47 minutes and 49 seconds in 2016. It was later broken by Amron Rosval who did it in reverse cascade just because he can. Then by Robert LaBeouf and in 2020 by Kan Kusume from Japan with a time of 2 hours, 21 minutes and 53 seconds. As mentioned earlier, rings are generally considered easier to juggle than clubs. But when you've reached a certain level with your juggling, the difference between 3 clubs and 3 rings is minor. So by looking at the difference of duration alone between the 3 ring and the 3 club world record, which is over 1 hour and 20 minutes, one can argue that the 3 ring world record is easier to beat than the 3 club world record. And that's why 3 rings is at number 2 on this list. Number 1. 5 ring world record. All the way up until late 2020, there were no official world records for 5 ring endurance. But on the 18th of December that year, Evin Dragsha did a run of 7 minutes and 28 seconds on an attempt to set 5 world records in one day doing patterns that didn't have an official world record yet. But this record didn't stand for very long. A month later, on January 27, 2021, Kati Ula Hukala from Finland broke the record by doing 5 rings for 16 minutes. This record is quite good, which is why no one had broken it yet. But by looking at the 5 club world record, which stands at 53 minutes, and the 7 ring world record at 15 minutes, one can easily see that this record is far from its potential. Do you agree with this list? What do you think are the easiest world records to beat? Remember to like and subscribe so that you get notified when I publish the top 10 hardest world records to beat. I'd also like to thank my patrons for helping to support this channel. And as always, thank you for watching.